Hello, my name is You're Not Justin. I'm in the pursuit of buying every single skin in Valorant. And to do that, every single week, I'm gonna put $100 on my account and buy the skins that are in my store. So you, the viewer, can see every single skin and so I can own every single skin. If you would like to help me not go broke, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and click the bell for notifications. Let's start the video. Oh, that sucks. Give me, yes, yes! Oh my goodness. This is what we needed for the video, dude. Hi, my name is Your Dot Justin, and it is good to see you guys again. After my last bank-breaking video, I'm thrilled to be back again to buy even more skins for your pleasure and mine, kind of. As you can see here, I have 6,564 Valorant points. Pretty decent, but it's not good enough. Yet another 100 bomb added to the account again. But let's move forward and find out what skins we're gonna be purchasing today. It could be anything. It could be premium stuff. It could be not so premium stuff and anything in between. Let's go. A little bit of an unfortunate store here, but it is good because of this. I've actually been wanting to get my hands on the Blastex knife for a very, very long time. The Blastex collection is one of my favorite collections that's actually ever come out into the game. Just to show you, I actually own a fully upgraded Blastex Phantom, and I bought this when I was completely done with YouTube. Like, I wasn't making videos at all at this point when I bought this, but I still had to put the money down for it because I loved it so much. I didn't buy the entire collection because I just wanted this. And then I instantly regretted it because I didn't get the knife. We also have the Wasteland Spectre, the Prism Bucky, and the Aristocrat Ares which is ironic because the Aristocrat Ares looks a lot like the Sentinels of Light Ares. Very groovy. But I'm gonna quit chatting your ear off here and I'm gonna buy all four of these skins. Hi, this is Post Edit Justin. While this is fast forwarding, I just like to let you know that I also eventually buy a Glitch Pop Operator. So I buy five weapons for this video in total. The gameplay that I get with the Operator is really insane. Stay tuned for that. Wow. But what's cool though is that I still have almost 10,000 Valorant points left. So for whatever comes out next or whatever video I do about this next, like I'll hopefully be able to not have to put down another 100 bomb. But if I do, then, you know, like the video twice. <laughs> so as per usual, we're gonna jump into some games here, but first, it's essential to upgrade anything that is a knife in this. Gotta upgrade the knife. Prism 2 Bucky. What is there to say about it? Really nothing. I mean, it's just a Prism skin. Cool enough. Uh, in my green screen videos, I kind of sort of talked about how these skins were made. So you can go and check that out in the top right corner there, after this video, of course. The Wasteland Spectre. Now, this one is interesting, and I do have real info that I can actually give you about this. There was actually a bug with the Wasteland uh, Vandal where uh, it gave an unfair advantage to players playing against people who had it. Off the top of my head, I don't know specifically what it was, but I'm going to do some research here and include it on the screen for you. But to my knowledge, uh, there was some sort of issue with the gun like clipping through walls or something like that or being a lot easier to see than another skin for the Vandal, making it a pay-to-lose weapon. Obviously, that's no longer a thing anymore. It's been patched. This was a thing like a year ago. But that's a little fun bit of information about you. I personally really like the Wasteland skins, and I'm actually incredibly excited to be getting these. And last on the list here of skins that we've gotten, the Aristocat... Aristocrat? <laughs> Ares. I might as well have the Sentinels of Light one equipped. Let's jump into some games, though. Let's have some fun. I'm ready to have some fun. Are you guys ready for some fun? Because I'm ready for some fun. Dude, this is so cool. I'm so happy that I finally have this. Standing ahead. Here. Take it out. One enemy remaining. I kind of prefer the way that knives look over like the swords that we've been getting. That's just my personal preference though. Try to get through. Yes. Going full force right now, baby. We're gonna give the prism bucky a rounded deserves. Let's make Reloading. Oh! Finished. Oh my god. What was she doing there? Oh, you, yeah, you got another thing coming if you think I'm taking it. I have all the makings of a future Radianite. No! Oh, that sucks. Give me. Yes! Yes! Oh, my goodness. This is what we needed for the video, dude. Like the video, damn it. $100 well spent. 
Oh my goodness. Alrighty, so it's been a day or two. I've been grinding out some YouTube content for you guys. And in the first clips that you probably are just now seeing, I got creamed pretty bad. And the whole point of this video series is not just to buy all of the skins, but to have fun with all of them too. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna buy one more skin for this video, and that is the Glitch Pop Operator. And I'm gonna try to get some really sick frags with the Glitch Pop Operator. Let's do it. Five skins in one video. To be honest, probably not such a good idea because the more premium skins that I buy earlier on, the more likely I'm gonna get really trash tier skins in my night market. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. It's gonna be super pricey to upgrade this, but I am going to upgrade it. I can't promise that I'll upgrade everything because that's going to add such a big price tag onto this. Like I'm already spending like upward to like $5,000 on all of this. So if I were to upgrade every single skin, that would be like an additional $10,000 because the Radiantite in this is priced horribly. I have money to put down for content, but I don't think Bill Gates has the money to upgrade every single skin in this game. Anyways, let's do it. I'm feeling risky today. It's nice. All right, let's jump into some games and try to actually have some fun and do a little bit better than we did in the previous games. All right, I'm doing deathmatch because unrated isn't working out. <sighs> Good warm up round. Honestly, my ultimate goal when I play Deathmatch is to just not come in last place or have the most deaths. That's all I could ever ask for. Shut up. Idiot. What? <laughs> he jumped over it. Oh, I suck. Oh, thank goodness. but this, I'm still having fun. Peek it. Peek it. Come on. This mode makes me like not feel good. Oh. Damn okay. He spawned next to me. That was a pretty good little kill streak though. Nice. You're done. Alrighty. Anyone else? Oh my god, I like them. That was a pretty good flick, even if I didn't kill them. I truly think these maps are just way too big. It's like you have to just hope for a good spawn, and like that's all you could really do is hope for your spawn to not be bad. And see, it's like this. It's like, there's nobody around me and you constantly have to be on the move. And see, there you go. People just spawn right in front of me. Like, I I really wouldn't consider myself to be doing good right now. Back off. Nice. Oh, see, I oh I didn't hit that guy, but I hit him though. That's good. I have a feeling I'm gonna get quite a few comments. Oh, that. Oh. 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 There was a lot of whipping, whipping in, no hitting. I probably will be getting some flack for using the op and deathmatch or whatever. Again, I really just like having fun and enjoy. Oh. And enjoying myself, and you know, I'm, I'm just having fun. That's all there is to it. People are allowed to enjoy, enjoy the game whatever way they want to, in my opinion. As long as you're not hurting anybody, it's all good. Oh, <laughs> we so bad. 
Oh my god, 130 and 5, are you kidding me? Oh! Oh, how did I hit him? I was moving! Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh! The, with these bullets, the tracers for those are so insane looking. Like, it looks like you hit people with every shot. Where was he? I might just win this, but I doubt it. I'm very much accomplishing my goal without having the most uh, death zone. Nice. Five kills remaining. That was sweet. One kill remaining. One kill remaining. Oh, no. That would have been such a cool way to end the game. Yes. Oh, my God. I can't believe I just won that. I think I have won like two or three death matches in my entire life. So this is really huge for me. I'm actually super stoked on that. That was a good gameplay. We had some fun with a really cool operator skin. As always, I'm Justin, and you're not. And I'll see you in the next video. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, click the bell, and yeah, love you guys. Tune in for next time when we buy more.